So I decided to see if I could make myself a homemade stir plate because I saw one in a magazine, uh, a homebrew magazine, um, and uh, it's used for uh, making yeast starters and things like that to oxygenate the, the solution so the yeast can propagate and have enough oxygen to do their fermenting and that sort of stuff. Um, so basically I saw that in there and I thought, well, that's a pretty good idea and it would probably help me out. But I looked at it and it was, I think the cheapest one was like 70 bucks and they went all the way up to like a hundred and some odd dollars. Um, so I did a quick Google search and uh, basically all it is, is it's a, a magnetic base that's spinning in there and it uses uh, a little stir bar that goes in the liquid you're trying to mix. So I did some research and this is my uh, about $4, $5 stir plate solution. So here it is. So basically uh, what we're working with here, first off the only part of this that I had to buy was this, which is the little um, magnetic stir bar. Um, and basically all it is is a little plastic thing with a magnet inside of it. And this is covered in, um, I don't know if that's plastic or what it is, but it's uh, food safe, it's temperature safe, so um, no problem putting that into uh, wort or beer or whatever else you want to mix up. Um, and then the rest of it, all I did was I took uh, this computer fan out of an old power supply and I took this rare earth magnet out of an old hard drive and uh, I just glued it on top of the fan. Um, and I'm just using a uh, USB cell phone charger for power, which is 5 volts. Um, I did some experimentation with the voltage. Originally I started with 12 volts, and because this is a 12 volt fan, um, and while the fan spins, it spins way too fast to keep this thing, you know, it just sits on there magnetically. So it's, it's pretty solid, but it's the fan was spinning way too fast and it was just throwing the bar off. So I backed down um, and I looked to see what else I had in my drawer. And I had a cell phone charger, which is five volts, because um, USB is five volts. So I gave that a shot and it's not quite as much power as I would like. I think like I would like to be in the range somewhere of uh, maybe seven to eight volts, but five volts works. Um, 12 volts was just way too much power. So. Let me show you how this thing here works. So basically, I've just got a regular kitchen bowl here with some water in it. Um, the stir bar goes in there and it kind of automatically seats itself on the fan based on the where the magnet is. And just to kind of help you get an idea of what's going on here, I'm going to put I'm going to try and put half a drop of food coloring in here. There we go. So now when I plug this thing in, you can see it starts to spin. You can see the water is getting blue. You can see a little vortex forming. And you can kind of see there's some aeration going on here. Um, actually, I'll unplug that so I don't have to deal with the background noise. Um, there's some aeration, but it's not quite spinning as, as fast and creating as violent uh, the aeration that I would like. So, like I said, I think if I went up one to two volts, it would probably be just about perfect. Um, but as it is, this uh, entire setup cost me whatever the price of that stir bar was, and I think on Amazon it was like, I think it was like $4.98 um, with free prime shipping. Um, so compared to the models that you can get from, you know, industrial or scientific or homebrew suppliers, uh, which are, you know, many, many times the cost that I've got into this, um, I think it represents pretty good value, you know, five bucks for something that gets the job done versus 70 or 100 or 100 plus dollars for something 
that looks a little bit more presentable. As you can see, there's kind of, you know, some wires hanging out here, and it's not really dressed up to look nice. Um, I may put this in, like, a plastic project box or rig something up uh, so I can kind of hide these wires and, and dress it up a little bit nicer so it looks a little bit more presentable. But as it is, it does what I needed it to do, and I guess at the end of the day, that's what matters. So, yeah. $5 stir plate. Can't beat that. Alright, thanks for watching.